They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. So right now I'm at the beach. You're gonna see that in next week's video, but I just wanted to come on here and narrate what you're about to see in today's vlog. So I went apartment hunting and the day was absolute garbage. It did not pan out the way I imagined it to be. But this is what I got, so here's the clips. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So, I'm apartment hunting today, and, um, you would think this would be an exciting time of my life, stepping out on my own doing my own thing or whatever but no it's not like that it's not like that at all like i'm stressed i'm annoyed <sighs> so frustrated i mean it's just you have to think of everything you got to think about your commute you got to think about your budget you got to think about the safety all of this tied into you know the whole process and it's like you either have to sacrifice one thing to get the other it's just so annoying like like i told myself i was gonna be positive today but i feel like negative age is about to make an appearance like like for real though it's just so let me just give you a quick story came to my first apartment scheduled a tour like two weeks ago been trying to call them all week because i didn't even know if the bedroom was still the apartment that i was looking at was still available no answer no one leaving messages no one is calling me back get here and the freaking oh my god the freaking apart oh my gosh the freaking leasing oh my gosh the freaking leasing office is closed for today i even called before i got here and the guy told me. so i was talking to the security guard i was like yeah that's this is just a sign it's a sign this isn't my place i mean i literally just prayed and i gave it over to god because he knows where i'm gonna live he knows what what i'm gonna do i just gotta you know be diligent i guess and just try to get it done my next tour is at 11 45 so i'm gonna look around this area but from the looks of it i'm not liking it but i said i was gonna be positive i'm gonna be positive i'm gonna be positive so pray for me y'all well by the time you see this it's gonna be over with but pray actually in the comments please say girl you got this if you watching this right now and you see this part please comment girl you got this because do i do i seriously do i So I came up to the top level of our parking garage because um, they're having fireworks out here tonight. Over here. In this area. I just want to make sure I have a space up here so I can see them from here. Um, also, I apologize for not vlogging. Today has just been challenging you guys already know what happened with the first place but the second place it was dirty 
um the area was a little sketch i mean i just don't understand if you have a scheduled house tour like why why is the apartment the model apartment dirty like i feel like it should be top notch to show you know even if the whole the rest of the apartments are fluke like this is your model apartment and it got dead like mosquitoes in the tub so that kind of blew me and then i went to another place where i scheduled a tour and um they got this thing called income based out here in this area basically if you make a certain amount of money you qualify to get certain type of housing um so they have a minimum and a maximum unfortunately which is actually like not to me it doesn't make sense but for me unfortunately i make over the maximum that you can have to live there and like that sounds like a good thing but it's legit no affordable real affordable housing in this area and i'm trying to stay positive i have a few more places to go um but i was just like today i was over it and it's hot and i'm crusty just not having a good day you guys so i just wanted to come on here and just tell you guys this apartment hunting isn't as easy as they make it seem um i thought it was just find an area you know oh, well, i thought it was just gonna be finding an area that i like finding apartments that i can afford and still live comfortably and um it's just not panning out that way so um, i'm about to take a nap I just need it. I can feel it. I can feel it all up in here. All up in here. I need a nap. So I'm about to go in this house. And oh, I'm about to go take a nap. As you guys can see, I was very frustrated by the results. Um, as you guys know, I'm not sure if I said it in the vlogs, but I just got a new job. That means that I got a raise. And I just thought that the opportunities for, I guess, I wouldn't say better living, but just to, you know, live on my own, pay bills. I just thought that that was just going to become much easier. And that's just not the case. So that just kind of destroyed my whole mood. It was very disappointing. It just threw me off. And you guys know I talk about being thrown off a lot. Hopefully I am focused. Am I focused? Yeah. I talk about being thrown off a lot. But I wanted to come on here and ask you guys, why is it so hard to stay focused when things don't go your way? Does that mean I'm spoiled? Does it mean that I need to, you know, take time out, more time out for self-care? Like, what does that mean? I am trying to figure out why... I'm trying to figure out why, you know, I go through something that is bad or sad or just not. Go ahead. I'm about to get mad and it's hot and my back is sweating. But I just don't understand like why it can be depression I, I mean it might be i don't know but why do we just take me out of that headspace that positive headspace and just makes me not want to do anything i mean these last two weeks i didn't want to do my hair i didn't want to find cute outfits for work i didn't want to go out i just didn't want to do anything and i don't know like i don't want to live my life like that i don't want to be in a place where one bad thing happens or something doesn't pan out the way i want it wanted it to and I'm just this is not a good idea to vlog out here but I'm gonna just keep going because I need content but I just don't understand like why why um, I just get knocked off my game so maybe y'all can comment down below on what what are some you know ways I can stay motivated stay encouraged and keep pushing forward because I struggle with it I've been struggling with and that's why I've been gone for these two weeks. Um, again, I told you guys I'm not trying to, you know, make excuses because I love my channel. I love what I do. Um, and that's the goal is to keep, you know, pushing out content. But that's why I am. When bad things happen, I don't want to do anything. I get stuck. And I don't want to get stuck anymore. So let me know what y'all think. Tell me down in the comments below ways I can, you know, improve on being better and moving forward staying motivated stop getting annoyed 
by everything and everybody and continue to do what I need to do to live my best life. Remember my best life, remember my best life. So um, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video.